So hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Tanberg Model 9 tape recorder from the mid-1960s. This particular machine is actually a Model 92F, the 2 standing for two tracks, and the 9, uh, meaning that it's got three speeds and it's a mono recorder with the speed selector, and the F standing for uh, the fact that it has a remote control feature. F being the first letter in the name, word for remote control in Norwegian. I don't have the pedal that was originally in, intended for this machine. Instead I've made this little switch here with three positions which emulates the two uh, pedals on the remote control so I can fast uh, rewind or rewind, uh, rewind it or stop the tape. And the best way to do that is to demonstrate using a using a tape. So we'll turn on the machine, put the full reel on the left side and an empty reel to the right. Turn the machine up and we'll notice this typical Tamberg feature that the reels turn in opposite directions. So what we'll do is put the function selector here in the free position, which causes it to uh, the reels to turn independently of each other and then we can thread the tape. So we'll wind into the tape to make a test recording, which I will do using this microphone here the Tanberg TM3, which was Tanberg's standard microphone to be used with this type of machine. Plug it in here, and uh, I'll stop the tape while I'm demonstrating the fact that this function selector here is for the amplifier. It's in the playback position currently. If I pull it forward, I'll get to the record position, causing the magic eye to light up. And as I advance the volume control, you can see that the signal it, from my from the microphone from my voice is being indicated here if I go too far or speak too loudly there's an overlap indicating that the tape would be overloaded if I were recording and then there's also an amplifier position so I can use this as a public address system or as an amplifier uh, I don't know you can probably hear that there's a, a more sound coming through the speaker than just from my voice but what I want to do now is to record so I'm going to zero the tape counter using the reset button and start the recording, advancing the volume control. And we're going to make this uh, recording for half a minute or so so we can demonstrate some of the features of the machine while playing it back. A uh, further feature of the machine that I haven't mentioned is that there is a uh, speaker selector here at the back which is currently in the internal speaker selection. To the right is the external speaker selection uh, uh, position and to the left we could actually listen to both the internal and external speaker if I had an external one connected. Uh, so, I think that's enough for the recording. Let's stop the tape and uh, wind it back to the zero position on the counter and reach the ordinary three and three. Advancing the volume control. And we're going to make this uh, recording for half a minute or so so we can demonstrate some of the features of the machine. That, uh, now the tape is stopped using the remote control. Uh, well, starting the tape. Back. I'll uh, for the feature of the machine, I have mentioned that there's a uh, speaker selector at the back, which is currently in the internal speaker selection. The right is the external speaker selection. Now these were the three tape speeds. Normally you'd record and play back at the same speed, of course. And then finally there's the rewind feature, a remote controlled rewind, which is fairly impressive on this machine, considering the fact that the tape now not only has to be pulled by a full reel from an, uh, an, an almost empty one, it also passes through the tape path here. Uh, so there's lots of friction, yet it actually manages quite well. We get one and seven eighths of an inch per second, which is a minimum time for speech. We'll go back a bit. So, um, what we'll do now is wind the tape back to demonstrate a further feature of this machine, and that's that it has an automatic end stop. So when there's no tape in the machine, it switches off the motor, uh, which can be a bit surprising if you're testing a machine like this and you don't have a tape available because essentially the machine appears dead. The motor doesn't run, doesn't make any noise apart from the amplifier if there's actually no tape in the machine. So that's about it. The Tanberg Model 9 mono tape recorder with remote control feature from mid-1960s. Thank you for watching and goodbye.